Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rich HD and welcome back for some more Star Citizen and in today's Star Citizen video we are going to be looking at the Mighty Saber. Just before we start and have a look around the ship as usual we're going to have a look at the statistics. So indeed it is a fighter, its length is 26 meters, its beam is 24 meters folded and 30 meters deployed. Its height is 5 meters with the gear down and 3.8 meters with the gear up. It weighs 18 tons. It is a one man ship. It doesn't carry any cargo. It has 2 times size 3 primary thrusters, 8 times size 2 maneuvering thrusters, 3 times size 1 power plants, 2 times size 1 coolers, 4 times size 2 shields. It has a quantum drive. Its weaponry is two times size three unmanned weapons, two times size two unmanned weapons, six times size two missiles. It also carries 40 flares and 24 chaff. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the statistics of this, uh, of this amazing ship. Um, Let's have a quick look around and talk about the detail as well as the purpose of the ship and how to handle it and um, my personal preference and loadout of it. So see here, here's the cockpit right at the front with this, I believe it's red tinted glass. I can't really tell because I am colorblind, um, but I believe it is red tinted glass. Um, the ladders do fold out here. What's interesting is when you get into the cockpit of the uh, Sabre, it has on its nose here, on the bridge of its nose, it's like a it's like a, um, a lock. It will slide down so that the cockpit glass can fold up, extend up so the pilot can get in, and then it folds down, and then this lock slides up and it locks the glass in place, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, you do see it when you get into the cockpit of the Sabre, and I will be showing you that later on. Uh, doesn't look like there's any intakes on the front, but we definitely do have intakes here. Uh, you can see we've got some lights here. So, this ship does have two times um, size two weapons and it also has two times size three weapons now the size threes aren't gimbaled but the size two are uh, the size twos are in fact badgers and the time and the size threes are panthers but my per personal preference is i like to have panthers or if you're a little bit more accurate you can go for ballistics such as the broadswords which are absolutely devastating but I prefer energy weapons because you don't have to uh, rely too much on accuracy and there's no ammo so that's a bonus right <laughs> and there's four size three so you do rip apart shields and ships fairly quickly in this as well um, so you get this nice stealth feel when you look at the ship, um, the Aegis manufacturer do like to design their ships in this black and red matte finish. And they like to make it look as stealthy as possible. So you can see the reasonably sized engines on this compared to the size of the ship. The engines are almost as tall as the ship itself. So fairly big. 
So people have been complaining why there's like this um, piece of bodywork, almost looks like a blade in the front of this thruster. Now I believe it's um, because it's like angular and there's like a, a, a round thruster here. I believe it's to spo supposed to bounce um, EM signatures off or IR signatures off uh, so it doesn't read the heat profile of the Sabre. So yeah, I, I do prefer this. I do actually like this. A lot of people disagree but I like it. So you see some maneuvering thrusters here. It is a symmetrical ship except uh, when you get in uh, there's ladders on this side, but not on this side. It's got some lights on the front there. Got some more maneuvering thrusters on the top. When I get inside the ship, I'll show you the top of the uh, ship as well. It's got some really detailed landing gears here. Hydraulics. Really, really nice. A lot of detail goes into these ships. A lot of detail. So these wings here, these wings actually do retract out when you're in flight. And they uh, fold in when you landed like this, of course is really cool and it looks like it's got flaps on as well so when you go into um, planets with um, with an atmosphere you have to take gravity into consideration um, with these flaps you do have more maneuverability in those places as well so a really good idea there interesting design it's very similar to the Vanguard Warden that I did a review of uh, I'll leave a link in the video description below if you want to check out my Vanguard Warden review. But the uh, the back of the Sabre looks almost identical to the Vanguard Warden. I mean the Vanguard Warden is bigger because it is a deep space fighter. This is more of a, uh, a stealth fighter. See the exhaust here. Got some more exhausts here. These, I believe, possibly run through the cooling. It's like a radiator, like the hot air comes out of here. These are the main, main engines. Very cool. Very futuristic. Not too futuristic in, um, in an alien aspect, but futuristic enough to say, look, humans have reached a certain point in technology where, uh, it's like this, if that makes sense, guys. Let's have a look here. Got some grills in there, not entirely sure what they are. Let's see if we can have a look underneath the ship. So we're going to just crawl underneath here. So the missiles are in this little missile bay here. So there's six of them. Ignite two. Let's see if we can clip through and see if we can uh, see these missiles. Yeah, there we go. You see the missiles in there? You can see the uh, the mechanism to open the doors as well. Is it going to let me back in? Yeah, there we go. You see the six there. But my personal preference is I would definitely change these out for... Uh, Tempest twos because the Rattlers are bugged right now. And the Tempest twos are proximity missiles, and they do work wonders. In fact, I've got some Tempest twos here as well. Uh, but I left it pretty much at stock, so you guys know exactly what it looks like when you first buy this ship. We've got some more maneuvering thrusters at the top there, and this ship is very maneuverable. It's not as maneuverable as the Gladius, but it's a hell of a lot more maneuverable than the Vanguard Warden. It's got very good offensive capabilities, and its defense isn't too bad, but you can 
not take punishment as easy as, for example, the Hornet series. It takes a lot of skill to fly this Sabre as well, because you do generally do black out a lot when you're dogfighting. Right, so let's have a look at the, uh, the cockpit here as well. Really nice animations. Pretty quick to get in and out of the ship as well. In my opinion, a lot faster than getting into the, the Hornets. So we're just going to have a look around. So these, these fans right next to us that look like air intakes, they're possibly to pressurise the cockpit. Very much similar layout to the Vanguard Warden again. Again, it is made by the same ship manufacturer. So we've got some four screens here. People, again, complain like the screens are too small. I think they're just fantastic. Um, I mean, I, I don't, you don't really need huge screens scattered everywhere around your fighter. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, you got some idea of what's going on on your screens and you should be all right. As long as you can look after yourself, you can look after your ship, you're, uh, you're pretty good. So let's have a look at the, uh, the exterior of the ship. So it's very flat, it's a very flat ship. So when you're strafing or circling around the ship, which is ideal to use in the ship, the surface area on which the enemies have to um, shoot at you is very low. You want to try and like keep at this angle while you're facing the enemy or when the enemy is facing you. You do not want to do this. Never do that because look at all that surface area. Easy target and especially from underneath as well. Well, you can see the uh, the wings fold out there as well. Really nice, sleek design. Very aerodynamic as well. It's just a gorgeous looking ship. In fact, I upgraded from my Super Hornet to this, even though, you know, I love my Super Hornet, but just having an extra size 3 weapon is just, it's nice, <laughs> it's really nice. And if your shields get knocked out or your guns overheat, the speed of this thing is pretty good as well. You can get away from a fight, let your shields recharge, let your guns cool down and then you can jump straight back into the fight, it's really nice. Would I recommend this ship? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely would recommend this ship. So it gives you an idea of what the pilot looks like inside. So I'm not naked this time, guys. <laughs> I'm not naked this time. But um, yeah, there's not much to go over anymore. So we're just gonna hop out. You can see the, uh, the lock sliding down. Just jump out, don't need a ladder to come down. See the lock go back over the glass there. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. I have so much fun in this, especially in Vandal Swarm. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about the ship its character, its performance, it is just outstanding. Uh, would I recommend this ship over the Gladius uh, or the Hornet? 
Yes. Um, what features do you think I should, you know, what would I change? Well, it's a pretty big fighter. Um, I wouldn't change the design layout, but I would probably make it a two-man ship. You know, just one behind, you know, someone just to manage the um, shields and power, much like the Vanguard Warden. Um, but it is what it is. It's a one-man crew. That's what CIG have, have made it into. Maybe in the future they could turn it into a two, a two-man crew, because you can see there's there's more headroom to put another man in there. Do you think? If you agree with me or disagree with me, leave the leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this ship. If you've got this ship or you plan on getting it. Or ask some questions about it, and uh, I will definitely try my best to answer all I can. So, as always guys, I'd just like to thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you do love Star, uh, Star Citizen as much as I do, definitely check out my other videos. Um, share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you did like this video, leave a like. And uh, if you want to support this channel and see more videos like this in the future, click that subscribe button. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next universe. Bye guys.